I'm so happy to see you today. I'm Teacher Marian, your grade 4 Mathdali buddy. Wear your beautiful smile and remember, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. The set of whole numbers includes a zero and the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. In today's episode, we will learn about visualizing numbers up to 100,000 with emphasis on numbers 10,001 to 100,000 using number disks, blocks, flats, longs, and units. We will also refresh your memory in identifying the place value and value of a digit. Hop in! Let the adventure begin! Get ready with your pen and paper because it's drill time! I have your numbers and in 3 seconds, I want you to identify the place value of the underlined digit. Ready? Aba, siyempre po! Number 1. What's your answer? Correct! Tens. Number 2. Good! Thousands. Number three. Ten thousands. Good job. Number four. Right. Ones. Last number. Hundreds. Great job. Hi, Mathdali buddies. I want you to meet my friend, Tonio. His family owns a pencil factory and they decided to donate a lot of pencils to our school. Tonya's family donated 34,569 pencils to our school. Can you imagine how big 34,569 is? Let us visualize by using these three magic steps. Magic step number one. Let us determine the place value of each number, starting from right to left. Place value is the position of every digit in a number. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Magic step number two. We will make a table separating the place value of each number. And magic step number three. Draw a number disk on each column and write the value of each digit. The value of a digit is determined by multiplying that digit by its place value. To draw a number disk, all you need to do is to make a circle, then write the value inside. Let's try it! In 34,569, the 10,000s place is a digit of 3. 
to get its value, multiply 3 to 10,000. And the answer is 30,000. Then we will draw 3 discs. Thousands place is a digit of 4. Multiply 4 to 1,000, so it has a value of 4,000. Then, we will draw 4 discs on the table. Next, hundreds place is a digit of 5. Then multiply 5 to 100, so it has a value of 500. We will draw 5 discs. Tens place is a digit of 6. 6 multiplied by 10 is 60. Then we will draw 6 discs. Lastly, 1's place is a digit of 9. 9 times 1 is 9. Therefore, we will draw 9 discs. We can see that there are 3 ten thousands, 4 thousands, 5 hundreds, 6 tens, and 9 ones. We also use discs to represent the numbers. There are a lot of pencils. Let us appreciate the kindness of Tonya's family. Thank you, Tonyo. Remember, place value is the position of each digit in a number. The value of a digit is determined by multiplying the digit by its place value. The place value of 3 is in the 10,000th place, which has a value of 30,000. The place value of 4 is in the 1,000th place, which has a value of 4,000. The place value of 5 is in the 100th place, which has a value of 500. The place value of 6 is in the 10th place, which has a value of 60. The place value of 9 is in the 1's place, which has a value of 9. It can be expressed as 30,000 plus 4,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 9 is equal to 34,569. It is called expanded form. Let us try another mathbelly example. Anna and her sisters enjoy watching their favorite band's concert. They were also amazed by the beautiful and big set of the Coliseum. The host announced that there were 68,324 people inside the Coliseum. What does Anna and her sister enjoy watching? Yes, it's their favorite band's concert. Can you recall how many people watched the concert in the Coliseum? Great! There were 68,324 people. Do you know how big that is? Tandaan! Basta kasama si Teacher Marian, kaya yan! I will give you 5 seconds to get your pen and paper. Papers up, pens up, let me see your happy face. Pens up, papers up, let me see that amazing face. Magic step number one. Determine the place value of each number. Try it! Amazing! Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Magic step number two. Make a table separating the place value of each number. Draw it! Let me see your drawing! Wow! You're doing great! Magic step number three. Draw number disc on each column. In 68,324, the ten thousands place is a digit of six and is a value of 60,000. So how many discs are we going to draw? Correct! Six discs. Next, thousands place is a digit of eight and its value is 8,000. Therefore, draw 8 discs under thousands. Hundreds place is a digit of 3, 
and is a value of 300. Then we will draw three discs. Tens place is a digit of 2, and its value is 20. Therefore, we will draw two discs. Lastly, ones place is a digit of 4, and has a value of 4. So we will draw four discs. Let me see your work. Well done! There are six ten thousands, eight thousands, three hundreds, two tens, and four ones. Aside from using number discs, we can also use the base 10 blocks. Blocks, flats, longs, and units. One block is equal to 1,000. One flat is equal to 100. One long is equal to 10. And one unit is equal to 1. The Earth Club of Karanungan Elementary School had a tree planting activity. There were 28,364 seeds planted by the pupils. How big is 28,364? Recall our three magic steps and let us visualize. Magic step number one. Determine the place value of each number. Try it! Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Magic step number two. Make a table separating the place value of each number. Magic step number three. Draw blocks, flats, longs, and units on each column. In 28,364, the 10,000's place is a digit of 2 and is a value of 20,000. So we will draw two sets of 10 blocks. Next, 1,000's place is a digit of 8. Therefore, we need to draw 8 blocks under 1,000's. 100's place is a digit of 3. Then we will draw 3 flats. Tens place is a digit of 6. Therefore, we will draw 6 longs. Lastly, 1's place is a digit of 4. So, we will draw 4 units. There are 2 ten thousands, 8 thousands, 3 hundreds, 6 tens, and 4 ones. 20,000 plus 8,000 plus 300 plus 60 plus 4 is equal to 28,364. These were a lot of seeds. It's your time to shine. Now, you will visualize a number using blocks, flats, longs, and units. How big is 12,349? Papers up! Pens up, let me see that happy face. Pens up, papers up, let me see that amazing face. Magic step number one. Determine the place value of each number. Come on, try it. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Magic step number two. Make a table separating the place value of each number. Magic step number three. Draw blocks, flats, longs, and units on each column. In 12,349, the ten thousands place is a digit of one and has a value of 10,000. How many set of ten blocks will you draw? Excellent! One set of ten blocks. Next, thousands place is a digit of 2 and has a value of 2,000. Therefore, we need to draw how many blocks under 1,000? Correct! 2 blocks! Hundreds place is a digit of 3. Its value is 300. Then we will draw how many flats? Good job! 3 flats. 
tens place is a digit of 4 and has a value of 40. Therefore, how many longs will we draw? Bravo! 4 longs! Lastly, 1's place is a digit of 9 and its value is 9. So we will draw 9 units. Nice! There are one ten thousands, two thousands, three hundreds, four tens, and nine ones. Ten thousand plus two thousand plus three hundred plus forty plus nine is equal to twelve thousand three hundred forty nine. It's activity time. You will draw blocks, flats longs, and units on your paper to represent the following numbers. Number 1, 1,573. Let me see your answer. Superb! We have the same answer. Number 2. 4,860. Is your answer like this? Amazing! Number 3 2,470 Check my answer. We have the same answer. Nice job! Sit still and hold your pen and paper because we will have another math bully and math amazing activity. Answer the given questions and write it on your paper. I will give you one minute to answer. Give the corresponding number for each statement. Number 1, 35 blocks, 3 flats, 1 long, 8 units. Thirty-five thousand three hundred eighteen. Number 2, 49 blocks, 7 flats, and 5 units. 49,705 Number 3 15 blocks, 1 flat, and 7 longs 15,170 Number 4 6 blocks, 9 longs, and 1 unit 6,091 and number 5, 100 blocks. One hundred thousand. You got it! Let us have our last activity for today. I will give you one minute to answer each number. 
Papers up, pens up, let me see your happy face. Pens up, papers up, let me see that amazing face. Number one, Melvin has three pieces of 10,000 number discs, eight pieces of 1,000 number discs, four pieces of 100 number discs, and seven pieces of 10 number discs. Draw a model for this situation and tell how many number discs Melvin has. Thirty-eight thousand four hundred seventy. Number two, Karen is preparing her project in visualization of numbers. She prepared eighteen blocks, four flats. 9 longs and 7 units. Give the value of each representation. 18 blocks, 4 flats, 9 longs, and 7 units. What number is assigned to Karen? Eighteen blocks, eighteen thousand, four flats, four hundred, nine longs, ninety, and seven units, seven. Eighteen thousand four hundred ninety seven. We all deserve an amazing club. One, two, three, one, two, three, amazing! To sum up, to visualize and represent numbers up to 100,000 by using number disks and base 10 blocks, we have to separate or group the numbers by ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones of a number. The place value of a digit in numbers up to 100,000 is based on the place value chart starting from the right ones, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. The value of a digit is determined by multiplying the digit by its place value. I know that you have enjoyed our Magdali adventure today. For your assignment, study this table and answer the following questions. Keep this in mind, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Remember, basta kasama si Teacher Marian, kaya yan! That's it for today, Mathbelly Buddies. See you on our next math exciting and math amazing activities.
my dear children. Today, something awesome is about to happen. Let's have fun while we learn English. This is Teacher Jaw at his service. Before anything else, don't forget your self-learning modules or SLM. Today, we're going to learn about paragraphs. Do you know what a paragraph is? If not, don't worry because Teacher Joe will help you understand everything about paragraphs. Please do this drill which will let you distinguish a paragraph from a non-paragraph. Write a check mark if the group of sentences is a paragraph and an X mark if it is not. Paragraph number one. My school is one of the largest in our province. We have over 2,000 students. To accommodate all of us, our school had to have 45 classrooms. For now, we only have 30 classrooms. Some classes occupy makeshift classrooms. Our principal is working hard to have more classrooms built so that students and teachers will be comfortable. Paragraph number two. Every bus needs a driver. Buses are not cheap. Different kinds of buses ply our streets. They bring people to different destinations. A lot of people come to our place to do business, shop, and while away their time. It is really warm today. Paragraph number three. My family and I went to the wildlife park. It is one of the most visited places in our city. It houses snakes, birds, lions and tigers, and even crocodiles. My favorite toy is a train which goes up and down a hill. And for the last paragraph, number four. Our teacher had a baby, so we have a substitute teacher, Miss Rojas. She is nice and funny. We always enjoy when she comes to our class. She makes us laugh with her jokes. She allows us to play outside once in a while. She also teaches well. For paragraph number one, if you wrote a check mark, then you are right. Paragraph number one focuses on a single idea, which is about my school. For paragraph number two, if you wrote an X mark, then you are correct. Number two paragraph does not focus on a single idea. For paragraph number three, if you wrote an X mark, good job! Paragraph number three does not focus on a single idea. And for the last paragraph, if you wrote a check mark, then you are correct. Number four paragraph focuses on a single idea which is about our substitute teacher. I have here four pictures, and these pictures have one thing in common. Can you guess what the word is? Here's another clue. Most of these are found in the school library. If your answer is book or books, then you got it. So, do you love books? What is your favorite book then? There are so many kinds of books in the world. And here are some of them. This is a picture book. It is a book containing pictures, like these. This is a fantasy book. A fantasy book tells stories often inspired by real-world myth and folklore. And this is a biography book. It is a detailed description of a person's life. Today, we are going to read a paragraph about books. But before that, let us first answer the crossword puzzle using the words that we will encounter when we read the paragraph. Do you have what it takes to be a word master? 
These are the ways. Preserve. Unravel. Printing. Manuscript. Parchment. Papyrus. Compact. Scrolls. Durable. Essential. Codex. Mahayana. Ancient. All you have to do is select the word that is being described. Don't worry, because I will be giving you examples on the words that can be used in a sentence. Are you ready? Here are the clues. Let's start with down. Item number one. Five letters. It is an ancient manuscript text in book form. My grandmother owns a that she likes to read. Number three, seven letters. This word means lasting or unbreakable. This table is so that it can't easily be damaged. Number four, eight letters. It means to keep up or maintain. We need to our history because it is what makes us Filipinos. Number five, eight letters. It is a word used to refer to the production of books, newspaper, and other printed materials. Be sure to check your article for errors before it. Seven. Eight letters. It is a branch of Buddhism. I have a Chinese friend who shares stories about his religion. Number nine. Seven letters. It is a roll of parchment or paper that can be used to write on or paint on. For our project in English, we were assigned to write slogans on Number 11 Seven letters This word means very old or having existed for a long time Even in the times, Filipinos already had tattoos And number 12, it means to separate into parts. In our science class, we had to the parts of a flower and identify each one of them. We're halfway there. Let's proceed to the words under, across. Number two, nine letters. It is a stiff, flat, thin material for writing. I like to use papers for my journal. Number six, seven letters. It is a plant used during the ancient times as a writing surface. The Egyptians used the Plant to make writing sheets. Number eight. Seven letters. This word means joined or packed together. My bag is more than yours, so it's easier for me to carry it. We're almost there. Number 10. Nine letters. It means important. It is 
to review our lesson so we won't fail the exam. And for the last item, number 13, it is a book, document, or piece of music written by hand. Can you give me the... about the story we read last week? Kids, do you think you got the right answers? Let's check and put the correct words inside the boxes. Let's start with... down. Number 1. The ancient manuscript text in book form is called Codex. Number 3. The words lasting and unbreakable are equivalent to the word durable. Number 4. To keep up or maintain also means to preserve. Number 5. The production of books, newspapers, and other printed materials is simply called printing. Number 7. One branch of Buddhism is Mahayana. Number 9. Rolls of parchment or papers used to write on and paint on are called scrolls. Number 11. The word that means very old or having existed for a long time is ancient. Number 12. To separate into parts means to unravel. How are your scores going so far, kids? Now, let's do a cross. Number 2. The stiff, flat, thin material used for writing is called parchment. Number 6. The plant used in the ancient times as a writing surface is called the papyrus. Number 8. The word which means joint or packed together is compact. Number 10. The word important is similar to the word essential. And last but not the least, number 13. A book, a document, or a piece of music written by hand is called manuscript. Were you able to answer our crossword puzzle correctly? In case you encounter the words and you forgot their meanings, you can always go back to this puzzle. Now remember that those words we learned in the crossword puzzle will help you understand well the paragraph that we will read. But what is a paragraph? A paragraph is made up of sentences focusing on a single idea. Here are two paragraphs as examples. Kids, you have to read the paragraphs with teacher Jaw, okay? Books are the oldest source of information. Even before the radio was invented, books were already able to provide information to people around the world. They have been an essential part of the human lives in telling stories, preserving history, and sharing information about our world. There have been various types of books. The first ever recognized books were the ancient scrolls. These are rolled up manuscripts made from papyrus plant and ranges from 14 to 52 feet wide when unraveled. The second type of book was the book to go of the Romans. More similar to the style of books today, the Romans created some of the first codices from as early as the first century common era. The codex was more durable and compact than a scroll as it was made with parchment paper and bound with wooden covers. Information is important. That's why books are considered a necessity for everyone. This resulted to books being printed. The first recorded printed book in history is the Diamond Sutra of Mahayana Buddhism. Books in schools are all products of printing. Today, books can also be in electronic form or ebook. It is the most convenient type of book and as long as you have a gadget, 
You can read anywhere you are and anytime you want. A book may change forms over time, but it will always be one of the best sources of vast information that we need. Were you able to understand the paragraphs that we have read? Let us now try to answer the following questions based on what we have read. If you have been a well reader, you'll be able to answer these. What is the source of information mentioned in the paragraph? The answer to the question would be books. Next question. What are the types of books? Based from the second paragraph, there have been various types of books like ancient scrolls, codex, modern printed books, and electronic books or ebooks. How does each type of book differ from the other? These books differ in terms of how they are made. The ancient scrolls are made out of the papyrus plant. Codices are made up of parchment papers bound with wooden covers. The books that we have today are printed by machines. And ebooks are made electronically and you can read them on gadgets. Question number four. Why do we need books? We need books simply to get information that we need. As mentioned in the first paragraph, they tell stories, preserve history, and share information about our world. And for the last number, the question is, how do we imagine our world without books? It may be a vast, lonely, and ignorant world we may be living in without books. Can you imagine a world without stories about ships, plants, and animals, famous people, fairy tales, and even our own planets too? But good thing there are books, whatever types they are, for us to enjoy and read on. So, did you have fun learning our lesson for today? In our next lesson, we will be learning more about paragraph and its parts. It's going to be fun and exciting acquaintance once again, that's for sure. But for now, let me leave you with this quote from Dr. Seuss. The more you read, the more things you'll know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So just continue practice reading. Once again, let's have fun while we learn English. This is Teacher John, at your service. I'll see you on our next lesson. Bye!